Jesus ever went to the locker room and Newt Rockney was in there, right? All five foot nothing of them considered fucking average height way back in the day before they put the horse tranquilizers in the fucking horse meat that they fed to the horses that they then fed to the cows, right? That are then in my burger. Maybe that's why I have such a fucking disposition. I eat a lot of red meat. This is how much red meat I eat. I don't consider hamburger red meat. To me, red meat is I had a steak. I have a burger. I mean, it's, it's, hey, it's, not, it's not red after I'm done cooking it, you know? Actually, it's not even true. I like, I like all of it medium rare. And what I've been told by E. coli freaks where they're like, look, you can have a steak medium rare. That's a lot less of a risk because that's just one cow. You know, you're rolling the dice. It's like you bang one hooker without wearing a glove. Oh, Jesus, Bill. Right? And then hamburger, though, it's like you banged Vietnam. (laughs) I don't know why I picked Vietnam. For some reason, I went to fucking Full Metal Jacket. Hey, baby, you got go fam Vietnam? It's like you banged a fucking country of that. That's what hamburger is because it's just a bunch of cows all fucking mulched together, right? You have a steak, it's like you just fucked one cow. That's what I'm trying to, or a steer, I should say. What's a steer? Well, that's a bull without his balls, buddy. Right? To take off its fucking horns. Um, I don't know what it is. Anyways, and if you have hamburger, that's like, you know, you know, you're just Freddie Mercury running around fucking the whole free world. Isn't that basically it? I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't know my way around the kitchen enough to, to know if that analogy worked or not.